but it looks pretty good from uh, a distance. I know that doesn't sound good. What's up guys, it's day 20. Let's check to see if any animals ate that corn last night. Nope, it's all still here. There's still corn all out here. It's crazy, I never expected that. Remember when I said yesterday that you throw corn over each shoulder for good luck? That's what my great grandfather said and I was just lying. I jinxed myself. It was bad luck. Nothing, we got zero photos yesterday or last night and so uh, I'm just gonna leave it here I'm kind of shocked that turkey or javelina didn't come get it so um, it is what it is let's move on with the day but on the bright side we got more painting to do I hate painting with a passion but for this house and my grandma or my granny and my family I'm willing to do it so we're gonna paint the trim today uh, we picked the color and then uh, we're gonna do a little special project hopefully get to that and then hopefully again We're gonna try to clear cut these posts and so uh, If it all goes well, we'll have trim painted out Hopefully all the beams and everything up here painted out and These posts clear coated and then let all that dry real good then we'll come back with the power washer power wash the deck real good and then we'll stain it hopefully that'll be tomorrow or the next day but we're going to uh, get that work done today I'm really excited it's very cool seeing this come together it's weird because uh, I see it every day I'm out here so it's not like a huge difference to me but I'm sure if someone came out and the last time they remembered it was all white and run down this would be huge but to me it's kind of like eh, it's not that big of a deal so I'm gonna have to go back and watch all the original footage we have, um, our videos on YouTube. We lost the uh, stuff on our old hard drive, unfortunately, but I think it's gonna be a big difference once it's all done, if it is anything like what I see in my head. Girl, she went swimming this morning. Bandit hasn't. Did you go swimming? Yep, you're covered in green too. The pups love to go swimming in the pond. And if anyone's looking for a puppy down here in South Texas, she's the one. So we are going to start the day first thing with painting the trim and Jason's going to clear coat the cedar posts. And we're not going to make you guys wait any longer. We're going to show you what color we picked for the trim. So we picked like a uh, tan beige color. I don't remember the exact name for it. But we figured it'd look pretty cool. It'd kind of go with the uh, cedar look that we're gonna go for with uh, these posts and stain the deck. Uh, kind of a honey golden color. I forgot exactly the name of that one as well. But I'm real curious to see. We bought a small can and if it doesn't look good, we can always repaint it. So the moment of truth to see what it looks like. I mean, so far it's pretty good. With that green, I think it looks good. I guess we'll let you uh, get to painting and we'll check back here in a minute. Sounds good. So while Jaylena paints over there, I'm going to try to do some clear coat on these posts and see how it turns out. <laughs> As you can tell, I got this all done. Um, it may not look a whole lot different because there's nothing to compare it to, but look. From that, right there, this is what it was. Real light color, kind of gray wash to it, to uh, darker. So, we're gonna let it dry, kind of see what it looks like. 
and Jaylene is over here painting the trim. And as you can tell, she already did their doorway. And uh, that's one coat, and it covered it pretty good. I'm kind of surprised. So let's check this out. Definitely uh, finishing it off a little bit better. Makes it look a little cleaner. My opinion is it's a little more peachy color than I was expecting. I was hoping to go a little more with the brown side, but it's more orangish, I guess, on the peach side. But um, we'll just do it and see what it looks like and when it's all finished and stuff like that. We can always go back and uh, paint it again with a slightly different color, which would be good because it'll all be painted the same. Uh, it'll be an easy coat over the top. It won't be much difference in color. So, if it comes down to that, it comes down to that. Not a big deal. Is this going on a lot easier than the uh, primer? Yeah, I'd say so. I like the peachy color. I just like the colored peach. So, I'm a little biased. What hat you rocking there? Kiss My Grass Acres. Who's that? They are another YouTube channel that you guys should check out if you don't know who they are. And I got this awesome hat. It's, uh, you can tell. It's the Resurrecting Lives Foundation. And I had no idea what it was. I could tell it's military. But this is what it's about. I was, uh, drinking my morning coffee. And after my coffee, I was getting some work done in my office, if you know what I mean. And uh, the hat was there, and I was reading on it. And it says, Resurrecting Lives Foundation. More than 20% of the 2.5 million men and women deployed to Iraq and Afghanistan over the last 13 years suffer from mild traumatic brain injury, also known as TBI. Um, the Resurrecting Lives Foundation mission is narrow and deep, is focused exclusively on resurrecting the warriors suffering from TBI. So I think that's freaking awesome. Um, you guys can go check them out. It's uh, www.resurrectinglives.org. And uh, I thought that was super cool. So I have no problem wearing this hat and supporting our men and women that have fought for us to be able to literally be out here doing what we're doing and have the freedom to do this. So if you served our country, um, or are serving our country. Thank you so much. We truly appreciate it. And if you are suffering from a uh, TBI, hopefully you are getting the help you need. And um, if anything, I guess reach out to this uh, foundation and hopefully they can help you out. So Jalen, it is finished painting the trail up there. I think it's looking pretty good. I'm still not the biggest fan of the peach, but it looks pretty good from uh, a distance. I know that doesn't sound good, but it really does. And I think once we have everything finished and complete, it's going to look good. It'll make sense. But these posts, I know you can't see it perfect, but it looks pretty good. Um, it definitely, it kind of just looks like when it was wet, which is basically what this is supposed to do. But compared to that one down there, which is kind of gray washed, this one, it kind of uh, brings more of the uh, cedar look out on it. But this is kind of where it's going right now. Kind of get a glimpse of it all. As you can tell, this post is darker than that one because I clear coated this one and half of that one with that little can. I only bought a small can of that clear coat because I didn't know if it was going to work good. Um, I think it's working great. It's probably going to need two to three coats on each one to get it that nice, good look that I'm going for. But that's just pricey. That little can's like 16 bucks, and so uh, it is what it is. We'll get it where we need it, but one of those small cans did one and a half pulls, so I'll probably buy a five or a, uh, a one gallon can next time and uh, hopefully get a good coat on all of it, at least one coat, and it'll be fine, and then later I can add more. And people always ask if we still have our dogs. Yes, they just like to hide out under the house because it's cool. So we do still have some trim up here at the top and then of course all these uh, raptors and stuff as you can tell Jaylena started painting it a little bit but we still got to go through and put primer and everything on it um, I may potentially try to do the sprayer and just block it off since it doesn't spray so bad maybe that'll get it um, going as quick as it can but we're gonna um, try to finish that up and then I got a surprise 
that I've been super excited for that we're gonna do on this window. So let's get to that. So yesterday when we went into town, uh, we picked up a bunch of these fence panels. They were the big uh, six inch panels, but my dad has a table saw, so he stopped by the house whenever we were checking on the tractor, and uh, we ripped these in half. It took a little bit, because we did like 24 planks, but easy work. He needs a new blade, so I'm gonna surprise my dad next time I go in town and buy him a new blade, because uh, it was rough cutting these, so I don't want him trying to cut all this stuff by himself whenever he works, so I'm gonna get a new blade. But we're gonna use this, and we're gonna put something up there. You may already kind of have a guess if you've been following our channel for a long time. So let's get to work. Now that I cut a whole bunch of boards, let's start putting them up there. So I don't know if you started to guess what we're doing yet, but you'll start to find out. And a huge thank you to my dad for letting me borrow all his tools, his saws and nail gun and all that. A lot better than uh, nothing that I brought, so that helps. Thanks, Dad. So I'm gonna go in with some screws and kinda screw these backboards to this plywood. That way it won't ever come off the wall. And then I'm gonna use the nail gun and nail strips on there. And then whenever I get some different screws, I'll go back and screw it on. But for now, it'll be all right. Got that second one up. As you guys can tell, this is kind of a, well, this is exactly what we did up there in Terrell at Jared's house. So we wanted to do this. That way it kind of makes it look a little bigger. We covered up that plywood. You could almost not tell. If you didn't know about it, you probably wouldn't know there's plywood back there that we uh, redid. Plus this kind of gets, uh, I guess a tribute to Jared. He is not here. He can't be here. He wants to be here. So we did this on his house up there. So we figured we'd do it here. Kind of give it a little modern feel, but keep it rustic at the same time. What do you guys think? I think it looks great. All right, guys. So I think we're going to call it a day for today. What did you guys think of this? Um, it's not just for looks. We're going to, hopefully, our plan is, come in and make little boxes and do some uh, flower pots on it uh, kind of sticking out and then go around the ranch and get little cactus and stuff like that that we could put in there that doesn't need a lot of water and kind of spruce it up that way and then you can also do something like this let's see let me grab <clears throat> this is a cutoff piece this is just an idea it's not really what we're going to do right now but if you get some longer ones, like thick, like the six inch full planks, we remember we ripped this down the middle, but you can stick it in here. If I can get it, of course it's only half a plank. But if it was a full plank, it'd probably stick out this far and it'd be a little shelf and you could put little things on. Um, very easy ideas, but we have a bunch of these left. These are all the cutoffs that we have. So I'm trying to come up with something that I can use with those, I kind of have an idea. I think I might have an idea. But if you guys have an idea what I can use all those, they're maybe, uh, maybe two feet long and uh, two and a half inches wide or so. But it's just like this, just a lot shorter. But if you have an idea, I'm very open to uh, what you got to say about that. Um, Jaylena, 
had to go inside. Her skin, guys, is just bubbling. It's gross. I feel very, very bad for her. Uh, her sunburn has just turned for the worst. And so where her shirt and bra and stuff go, it's just bubbling so bad. Because she was out here and the sweat got in there and the sweat got in like little pockets. And it just looked like she just had bubbles all over her. And so uh, she's in a lot of pain. And so uh, I told her just to go in, relax. There's no need to kill her out here on day 20 out of 100 or 21 or wherever we're at. And so uh, she's taking the rest of the day off trying to um, get a little better. And so uh, I think... I'm just gonna go inside, edit this video, because as you guys know, we are editing um, these videos a day in advance now because our internet is terrible. So I'm probably gonna do that for the rest of the night, kind of relax, try to come up with something for supper. Um, as you guys know, we went to the beach, we didn't catch any fish. So we're just kind of eating what we got. But I wanted to go for a joy ride and drive around the ranch, but flat tire this tire was not good in the first place this is the spare i just hit that sticker but there this was the spare and look at this the valve stem just comes right out so i think we're gonna take the uh other rim other tire that blew out the first time into town and next time we're in there we're going to get a new tire. Not brand new, new to us. It'll be used, but it'll work. But before I go again, guys, I wanna show you the front. Um, yes, all this stuff will be moved soon, but what did you guys think of this so far? The clear coat's still holding up pretty decent here, which is good. It could probably use another coat, but it's nice and shiny. And like I said before, we still need to prime all this and paint it, even this, all the way down. But as you can tell, we started a little bit. And then we're going to come in and power wash the deck and then stain it. So it's getting there, but I got to go. I'm going to just rest up for the rest of the day, I guess. Try to do... Uh, the editing like I said so we'll see you guys tomorrow thank you again so much for all y'all support um, we did get a few packages in the mail that we opened and uh, we're gonna thank you guys on that we talked a little bit about it today in our video like this hat the hat Jaylena had on um, we got these got these awesome and I mean awesome uh, bottles thermoses I don't know what you call it they hold water and it stays ice cold all day for like 32 hours so it's freaking awesome thank you guys for everything if you need anything it's down in the description I don't even know if we linked Jared's uh, um, YouTube channel in the last video I probably forgot but I'm sure you found it it's Jared Crocker remember go Subscribe to his channel. We're trying to get him to 4,000 subscribers by our birthday, which is Monday, August 12th. So, and then Jaylee and I will have been married for one year on August 14th. <laughs> Crazy. We were in Vegas one year ago getting married. But we will see you guys tomorrow. We love you. See ya.